Hi, today we're gonna be talking about the Ibrosta uh, Hotel from Tunisia. Uh, the hotel itself is located around half an hour, 35 minutes from the airport, which is very convenient. Um, when you arrive to Tunisian airport, you'll be able to exchange your uh, currency, but you can also do that at, uh, at the hotel itself. They do have displayed um, rates on one of those, uh, you know, uh, screens at the lobby. And also there is ATM where you can withdraw and exchange the money. The ATM, I think it charges around 2% uh, per uh, cash withdrawal. Uh, so yeah, at the beginning, I'm just going to show you a little bit uh, about the lobby. Uh, you've seen the entrance on the uh, left to the um, restaurant. And that's the outside of the hotel. The outside of the hotel is really nice. Uh, if you're on the wheelchair or when you've got, uh, if you've got a buggy, it's really, um, it's very friendly. Uh, there is no, not a lot of stairs, no bumps, uh, no uneven surfaces. So this is one of the main pools. The pools are not heated, but when we went there, I think it was in May, uh, the temperature was so nice. So even at 10 o'clock, you were able to go and swim. Uh, here on the left, uh, yeah, you've got the uh one of the pool bars where you can get your snacks i think the pool bar is open from 10 o'clock and it's oh i'm not quite sure what time it's shut but anyway i think it's around five four o'clock um and i think this is yeah i'm gonna show you the walk to the beach Uh, this is the another pool. The hotel itself, we've got two pools. This one is a little bit deeper one. So if you're a good swimmer, you know, this one is ideal for you if you want to do a morning cardio. At the last clip, I'm going to show you a little bit about the food. The food was really nice. Every day there was a different theme. So I don't think you will be uh, bored of the food if you will go there for seven, even ten days. We stayed there for ten days and you will find that there is even a section for vegan and vegetarian. There's not a lot for vegan and vegetarian, but you always will find something. So it's not like you will end up <laughs> being hungry. Also, if you've got special dietary needs, uh, and if you ask them to make some meal for you, they'll always be happy to do it. When we've been in Egypt at the beginning of the year, it felt like they made a fuss for us to prepare a meal for our little one. But yeah, this hotel is, yeah, I would definitely recommend that, but maybe not for the kids. <laughs>